You're watching Poland Daily Business and we will talk about business with uh, Marcin Roszkowski of Jagiellonian Institute. So welcome to the show. Uh, thank you for having me. Let us uh, say a few words about this huge project of European Union, meaning that European Union will <coughs> take credit from international lenders in order to fight the COVID-19. Is this an excuse uh, to build a new federal Europe? And is those, are those money so lavishly spent on the member states uh, a bribe in order to allow the EU bureaucracy to fasten their position and build up this central, centrally ruled Europe? I think it's a, a new development that the European Union will have its own debt. Uh, I think it's the next step to unification, further unification of the European Union. And also, the countries, uh, the, the funds have not been released yet, but generally, um, uh, um, countries like Poland, which actually is seen as, a, let's say, euro realistic country. So, approach of Polish government has been also um, softened by uh, uh, allowing um, the GDP per capita figure to be one of the important um, uh, figures um, uh, uh, putting in line the countries uh, where the support, the euro support will be um, uh, designated. So <clears throat> generally, I would not call that a bribe, but, gen uh, but uh, nobody um, uh, in the general public has uh, realized that this is a, a, a large step for, uh, towards uh, um, a further uh, federalization of European Union. It's a joint debt and it needs to be repaid one day. Right. <clears throat> it is hidden or these guys are further step of integration of European Union. And integration definitely sounds good, but bureaucratic uh, overhead over the national uh, governments and undemocratic way the European Union is governed right now puts a question mark on this project. So first of all, uh, European Union, besides the debt we are uh, t uh, talking about, does not have any other cash um, uh, um, beside the cash that it takes from the uh, member states. Uh, but when the cash is uh, redistributed to the member states, um, uh, there are certain um, agendas put to the um, put to the uh, budget, for example, cultural agenda, for example, um, energy and climate policy agenda, and also uh, uh, questionable uh, rule of law um, uh, agenda. So generally, uh, they gather money and redistribute it uh, under a bureaucratic supervision with uh, with uh, uh, asterisks uh, attached to it. So. Are you happy with that? Uh, we'll see. Uh, I think um, the COVID has sh shown that uh, member states are uh, getting stronger and um, nation, uh, uh, nations are solving uh, internal um, problems of, of COVID, not um, international uh, organizations like European Union. So generally, uh, for the time being, no, but the develop will, will we need to check the um, and see how it develops because it's a risk, it's a potential risk. Especially if we see that the European Union, of, you know, officials, even the highest the commissars, are mostly incompetent in their agenda. When we see, for example, when they are accusing Poland of some deficiencies in the uh, law or something like that, um, there is an interesting observation right now because um, the LGBT agenda is being pushed very hardly, and it looks like uh, it will be used as a tool to assess whether the country is uh, good, properly progressing or not? I think the uh, European Union uh, is an arena of, uh, of a fight, and the fight um, is not a, a political fight. Political uh, instruments and cultural in instruments are only tools 
uh, for the um, uh, economic uh, uh, relations and uh, uh, fights that are occurring um, due to uh, European Union uh, legal system and so on and so on. So we are opening the market for European uh, companies to compete. And if uh, Polish government, Polish uh, companies are um, uh, protesting, uh, all these gimmicks are uh, used as a, as a tool of of, of, of repression uh, for the Polish government to have some other concessions uh, in the economic sector. I think that's uh, um, uh, it's not the main issue of, of European Union, but it's used as a, as a successful tool. Yeah, the question is whether we need such a strong European Union that keeps the finances and the country finances in hand. Yes, of course. Uh, the the, um, the pace of integration um, will be uh, discussed in the next years for sure. Uh, let's see what is, what's happening. What will happen, for uh, example, in Italy when the um, when the uh, approach of European the, the attitude towards European Union uh, is not so um, it's not so high. Uh, we'll see how the pandemic changes the structures of the European uh, Union and the approach to integra better integration. But the European bureaucrats have one aim to integrate more because all the problem, all the uh, solutions to the problems are uh, is more integration. Of course, Marcin Roszkowski of Jagiellonian Institute, sir. Thank you very much for this conversation. Thank you for having me. For Poland Daily Business today, and please watch us tomorrow, same time.